Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys, like me, have been trying to unlock all of the new weapons that have come with the latest DLC, and there are a lot that you can choose from. 11 new weapons overall, and 8 of those have 2 variants each, so that's a lot of assignments for you to be completing. I went with some of the easy ones first, like the SMG-08 Factory and the Fedorov Avtomat Trench, but then I wanted to step it up a little bit and go into uncharted territory and try and unlock the new MG-14-17 machine gun. That's the one with the ridiculous assignment to take down two planes using just LMGs. As you can see, I do now have the low weight version unlocked and I've been having an absolutely awesome time with it, but the unlock process has taught me something about what DICE is trying to do with Battlefield 1, and I think it's really important that you guys understand this too. With the assignment for the low weight variant telling you to take down two planes with LMGs, I think the intention from DICE was that players would attempt this on the new maps that came with the DLC. Now, only three of those maps have air vehicles on them, Galicia, Lupkow Pass and Albion. The other three maps are mainly infantry focused, mixed in with some ground vehicles, so you've really got no hope of unlocking the new weapon there, so I took to Galicia to give this unlock a try. Using the LMGs to do damage against planes means a lot of leading targets, a lot of hit markers and a lot of frustration that as soon as you stop firing within a few seconds, the plane has been destroyed by somebody else in another plane or that guy who's standing right next to you aiming at the plane got the kill because he managed to finish it off with his LMG. That happened to me just over and over and over again for a good three or four hours last night whilst I was trying to grind away and unlock these new weapons and I nearly gave up on it. But then it dawned on me. There was a severe lack of AA cannons on this new map and that might lead into why we're using our LMGs here. See, I can only find a few AA cannons across the Galicia map and it's one of the bigger ones that's available in Battlefield 1. And look how pass is pretty big and doesn't have many AA cannons either. I didn't play much Albion last night, so I'm not sure on the numbers of AA cannons there, but I'd assume we're looking at a similar scenario where AA cannons are restricted to the gimme flags on the map. Maybe one thrown in the middle somewhere, but again, you're looking at a relatively low number considering it's an aerial combat map as well. Why would DICE not cover these maps in AA cannons when clearly the balance of the maps dictates that air vehicles will play a major role. Well, I was thinking that DICE might be trying to change up the meta a little bit, as they've done in the CTE recently, changing a lot of the balance values, and they're indirectly trying to tell players that sitting mobile on stationary AA cannons is not the way to go anymore. If you cast your minds back to the French DLC, They Shall Not Pass, back in March now, that's a good six, seven months ago, before DICE nerfed the fighter planes and their dart bombs, do you remember how frustrating it was to be an infantry player and just getting dunked on round after round by some guy going 60-0 and 0 at the top of the leaderboard? Yeah, I found that pretty annoying as well. DICE admitted that planes were a bit too powerful against infantry at that point anyway, and that infantry didn't have the necessary tools to combat those planes effectively. They were always left out to dry, basically. And with that situation in mind, I think DICE is now pushing the role of the AA cannon onto the support players on the ground, using their LMGs as mobile AA cannons to take down and do damage to planes. Now, of course, one machine gun is not going to be a plane, but you should be able to do a good 8 to 16 damage to a fighter or an attack plane as it strafes past you, which should be enough to make them loop up, pull away, and move off from their target. Multiple LMGs will do significant damages to planes in one strafe, and they could end up taking them out completely, which is similar to what an AA cannon can do if it's aimed correctly. I think the difference DICE is trying to make is that sitting stationary on an AA cannon doesn't really help your team and it's quite predictable. You've got one less player who's mobile fighting against other players because they're stuck on a cannon and the pilot is more likely going to know the locations of those cannons on the map and will simply aim for you every time they take control of a plane. 
So what DICE are trying to do is to shift the responsibility of taking down those planes directly onto the infantry on the ground, and moreover, the support players, meaning the pilot cannot accurately know where his threats are all of the time. I mean, sure, he can use the minimap to pinpoint spotted enemies, and then make strafing runs on capture points where he knows the enemy is likely to be, but all of those players are moving around, and a lot of them will start shooting at a plane if it flies past, at least for me in Battlefield 1, knowing that any weapon really is going to do damage to a plane, I'm going to shoot at it if it flies over my head. Rather than infantry having to take themselves out of that combat scenario, maybe you're contesting a flag and there are planes flying over your head that are annoying you and you want to get rid of them. In the past, you would have gone and found an AA cannon and tried to use that to get rid of the plane. The role of the AA cannon in this DLC specifically is now right in the middle of the action. It's moved to the support player and their LMGs. This also means that the planes will spend less time skirting around the edges of the maps and pinpointing the AA cannons. They'll be forced into the action as well around the capture points and the trenches because that's where the players are. The combat cycle of AA cannon and plane has been broken up here. It's still there and AA cannons I'm sure will remain a thing within Battlefield 1 maps that come out in the future, but DICE is really trying to push players into thinking differently and I for one am extremely happy that that is the case. The reason I think that is because it's actually really fun to use primary weapons against planes, especially with the LMGs which have bipods. If you spot a plane going for a strafe nearby you, you can prone, pop up the bipod and then just go to town with the bullets on that wooden fuselage. The assignment to unlock the MG14 is designed to tell you that that's what you should be doing from now on. And once you get your hands on the MG14 and you continue to try and take down planes, you'll understand exactly why DICE has been trying to tell you to do that in the first place. The new MG14 just absolutely shreds planes and infantry on the ground, and its most valuable asset is that bipod. The gun has a lot of recoil to balance out its extreme rate of fire, but you can almost totally negate that recoil by bipoding the weapon behind cover or proning down, and the thing just becomes a laser beam. It's so much fun to use. Anything inside about 30 to 40 meters and you'll probably get away with not using the bipod, but anything longer than that, get the thing bipoded behind cover or just prone down and you can take out so many people with this brand new gun. It is such a laugh to use this thing. And that's not to mention that once DICE get their new weapon balance patch into the main game soon, that's the one that's on the CTE right now, at the moment all of the LMGs will be buffed with their maximum and their minimum damages being increased. Now of course the CTE, there's no guarantee that that kind of stuff will make it into the final game, but DICE appear to be going headstrong with this and trying to make some changes to the time to kill. And that is only going to strengthen this new meta of LMGs versus planes. And it's going to make all of the LMGs much more competitive overall against other automatic weapons like the SMGs from the Assault class. I think we can all agree that the Support class has not really had as much love as it's needed so far, but with these new changes coming very soon I believe, and this new MG14 machine gun, it's now a really really good class to use, especially in the new DLC maps. So it appears that LMGs are becoming the new AA cannons of Battlefield 1. And I'm happy that's the case. If the gameplay centers more around the objectives than it did before, then that to me means the game is being played as it was meant to be played. Let me know what you think of some of the new weapons that are being added. I'm loving this new MG14, but also I'm enjoying the breath of fresh air that the Fedorov has given to the Medic class. I can be so much more aggressive with that weapon. If you missed my video yesterday on the Fedorov, you can check that out linked in the description. But leave me some comments down below, and as always, I'll be down there reading just as many as I can. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.